So in a duet I just did with Jess Craven, she mentioned something very important that people aren't saying enough. Beyond anything I can even comprehend, that there are still people who will vote for a party. And politicians like Trump, like DeSantis, like almost every Republican running, who literally cannot generate a single thing to recommend them other than their hate. I would like to once again elaborate on this and encourage people to bring this up much more often. The next time you're having a debate with your conservative uncle or your parents who think that Trump is the greatest person in the world, don't bother talking about how Trump's a con man. They know that. It's, they're stuck in the Nigerian prince syndrome. Just ask them a question. Ask them to tell you one positive policy the Republicans have made. And before they say something like, well, they're protecting kids from... No, 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 no. Because they're not, first of all. They're not protecting them from guns. They think they're protecting them from people who they are blaming for things. That's a generic statement that is derived from excluding other people. Their idea of the Republicans protecting kids is by excluding and getting rid of the LGBTQ. Ask them to name a positive piece of legislation. Like, for example, how the Democrats are constantly trying to preserve social programs. How the Democrats want the rich people in this country, the 1%, to pay more so that the rest of us down at the bottom don't have to have social programs cut or our own taxes raised. Democrats want to preserve abortion in this country, especially in cases where women's health may be at risk. Because right now in Republican states, women are sitting in the parking lot at a hospital bleeding out because the doctors won't help them. The Democrats are the ones who always want to increase the minimum wage, as well as pushing for more fair wage practices for minorities and women. The Democrats are the ones who wanted to help people who couldn't go to work during a global pandemic. The Democrats help laws to try to help seniors and veterans. The Democrats aren't the ones who were trying to stop funding to veterans who were exposed to toxic chemicals and burn pits. The Democrats are the ones trying to push for better health care, including Obama who created the Affordable Care Act. The Democrats are the ones who keep trying to lower the cost of prescription drugs and insulin. And the Democrats are the ones who keep trying to pass common sense gun laws so that your child can go to school without a Kevlar vest. Now, name one positive piece of legislation from the Republicans. You fucking can't, because it doesn't exist. The Republicans have pushed over 500 anti-LGBTQ and anti-abortion laws in the last two years. The Republicans' entire platform, in all of their ads for their re-elections, is about being against abortion and against trans people. Filled with endless vague platitudes of American values. Last I checked, hate was not an American value. At least not on paper. Trump, DeSantis, all these GOP state legislatures behind these bills want you distracted. They don't want you to realize they actually have no plans for legislation. They're just going to make you hate everyone while they steal your wallet and swap out your American flag for a swastika.